northern hemisphere of this great planet, under the chilly crescent moon, uh, it's a most magical place. A place where every shooting star is a wish just waiting to come true. A place where every snowflake tastes just a little sweeter than the last. Yes, this place is filled with pure winter magic. It's also populated by a family of snowmen who just happened to call this place home. But there was one snowman who was quite unlike the others. Yes, he was quite different. He was special. He... for a cold opening. <laughs> Evening, sir. Looks like you've been doing a little hunting. Uh, you got your dough permit on you, sir? Yes. I have my snow permit right here. there with your vehicle. Man, you got a busted headlight. I don't remember that. Shit. That's going to be a $25,000 fine or jail time. Jail time! I'm gonna 
need you to drop your weapon, put your hands behind your back. Drop your weapon. Tell me, officer, what's the difference between an argument with a knife and an argument with a cop? A knife has a point! <laughs> That's a rat! Creep Creepers Creepy Cinema Spook Show It's because, from such a young age, I knew my crib was my entire world. And soon, the entire world would be my crib. I knew no iron bars a prison could make. So I found myself fearless in every stretch of the earth, from the slum opium dens of Pittsburgh to the rough and tumble flats of Tijuana. And from all of my journeys throughout my colicky life, I found my home at last. My crib, if you will. And in this crib, I'm filled with all the toys and trinkets a boy could ever want. Or need. And that's never stopped. But that's never stopped me from asking for more. And more! And that, my precious children, is at the heart of this most horrible time of year. Greed, greed, greed! <laughs> greed springs eternal from this special holiday season. Eternal! And it is certainly a special holiday season. <laughs> For this year, I have declared myself Crip Kringle! <laughs> yes, you are right, Gumby. I'm not the great Kringle. Gumby can smell an imposter right away! Can't you, Gumby? He knows. For those of you who don't know, this is Gumby! My special precious, my companion through these dark, wicked days that lay a great shadow over my heart. Gumby is very excited about Christmas, aren't you, Gumby? Have you written your letter to Santa? <laughs> Have you left out some treats for the great Kringle? Oh, right, yeah, yeah, right here, yeah. Yes, I cannot be Crib Kringle, as you so deliciously exclaimed. While I'm certainly a healthy recluse, with an army of dwarves ready to do my bidding at a whim's notice, I don't have the finances of such a grand enterprise to supplement the world's annual need for greed. Greed! Supplemented by fear of punishment. You see, children, no good deed should go unrewarded in the eyes of the great Santa Claus. But shouldn't a good deed be its own reward? Certainly not, according to Santa. If you are a good little boy, you will be gifted with all the toys and all the boys. But how many good boys and girls are there in this wretched world? If I really were the old jolly obese commie slave shop owner known to you foul mortars as Santa Claus, then I would declare you all naughty. I can see now through the camera. Naughty! You! Naughty! Naughty! You! Naughty! Especially you! I don't need a list, because I know every single one of you ugly, 
meat sacks filled with mostly water are naughty. And you naughty little polyps would get far worse toys and trinkets than coal. Yes. Oh yes. On that fateful night of Christmas, you would receive pestilence and pock marks on your face. And tiny slivers of wood that would forever bury itself into your sweet, smooth skin. Never again to see the light of day. All of you would receive fire and brimstone, and the wrath of the master would rain down, down upon your tiny little soul in agonizing pain. All of you naughty little cretins will be wiped off the face of the earth until only my fortress in the North Pole remains standing. And then I would laugh and laugh until the blood vessels in my brain popped and streamed crimson hate from my testes. Oh. But then I would build a spaceship and take my marauding army of midgets to the moon, where no creature shall ever again be safe in the universe. But alas, I am cursed to remain in this dilapidated mansion, damned for eternity, to present crappy movies to you. The viewers at home until the end of time. And I myself cannot speak ill of greed, for I, the Crip Creeper, am the most greedy creature of them all! Hello, Princess Debbie. Shut up! Ah! And now a word from our proud sponsors. <laughs> Listen carefully, little boys. Don't worry about me. I hate you. <coughs> and I'll be waiting and drinking this delicious, rotten smegnog filled to the brim with alcohol. <laughs> Speaking of greed, now for my least favorite moment on earth, the gift exchange. Give it. What is this? What's this, Gumby? You shouldn't have. <laughs> you filthy thing. I hate you. <laughs> and one final gift. It's something Gumby's always wanted. You've been a good little ghoul. Do you love smack, Gumby? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gumby loves smack. <laughs> then you shall get a little smack. How about a few jokes that'll really put the cheer in your mistletoes? Why doesn't Santa go down chimneys anymore? Because he's claustrophobic. What is Frosty the Snowman's favorite thing to eat? Snowballs. <laughs> what is it called when Santa's reindeer are naughty and must be beaten into submission within an inch of their miserable lives for not obeying their lord and master? Claws and effect. <laughs> what? Did the doctor diagnose the elf who was too big to work for Santa? <laughs> Elfentitis. <laughs> what? Why did Santa divorce Mrs. Claus? <laughs> because he already has one old bag. <laughs> <laughs>
I must remind you, you, to think of the less fortunate among us. Please, think of donating this holiday season to some poor motherless children or your favorite homeless. Why not? One time I donated a batch of my grandmother's delicious wolf spider cookies for the little Indian kids. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Delicious. Yeah. And now, little boys, I present to you, never before seen on any screen, a film so vile, tasteless, and annoying that Amazon Prime rejected it from their programming services. <gasps> Premiering for the first time, the touching and heartfelt documentary about love, perseverance, and the wonderful perils of addiction. My Feeder, starring CR CCR, <laughs> starring CC Facemeyer, and directed by the Tib Rock Brothers. <laughs> Gombi, get the remote! <laughs> Finally, Crib appears in his remote. Maybe it was all a dream and Crib wakes up. <laughs> what happened? One minute. Just shut the fuck up for a minute. Hold on, one second, please. Please. One moment. Hold on. Stop! Shut up! Moments, please! Hear my own thoughts. There we go. Stacy and I have been married for about uh, two years. Mama, how long have we been married? Mama, how long have we been married? Yeah, two years. I thought you were sick. I thought you were sick. I thought you were sick. Oh, it's 518. You want your donut? Uh-huh. Not yet, baby. In debt and are eight less rated with the Better Business Bureau. So don't wait. Get the relief. Ever since I was a boy, I can remember the joy of feeding ever since my people fed mama. Anytime there was a fight, he'd get the food and feed her, and everything was good. You look at my pictures, baby. We came from a healthy line of feeders. Grand P. Paul was a feeder. His P. Paul was a feeder. And his P. Paul 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 and then his P. Paul and so on. My feeding is an expression of love. I don't know what to do if I can't feed. I used to have a sister, but she went swimming in the lake with Jesus. 
She's still swimming to this day. I believe healthy is a state of mind. The My whole family is really talented, actually. Uh, Stacy won a piloting contest in 1989, and uh, Joey's real good on the Harmond. Uh, Joey, play that song on the Harmond! <laughs> Joey is Mama's emotional support monkey. He does his best, but Mama don't have her brain in the right spot anymore. Joey's alright. Joey, you can complain all you want to, but you know Cece's gotta eat first. Mama's gonna get angry. Mom, come get Joey! I don't know why Joey gets keep getting fights. He fights all the time. He's a mean monkey. He fights on me all the time. I don't hate. I don't hate it exactly. It keeps me in shape. I think. I think feeding is an act of love, and I. I love animals, and I love Joey. Okay. And uh, oh, you know, I got this great video. I got this great video of me feeding a bird. We got a wood stork. His name's Woody. He lives out here. Hold on, where, I don't know where the video is. So, the video? I'm looking for the video. I don't know. It's in the camera roll. I'm looking for the video. Oh, that video. Okay. Hold on. It's right here. Hold on. Uh, hold on, it's right here. Oh, no, oh that picture's funny. Hold on, let me find it. Here it is. I found it. Let me play it for you. You see it? I love feeding people. I heard that at a zoo, you can feed the animals. I've never been to one. I told you, he's here, that's Woody. Cece don't understand why I feed Woody. She don't like it, but she don't like a lot of things. I feed Woody because I want to feed Woody. Sometimes it's about me. I'm a feeder, so I feed. And you know what? I'll feed again. I'll feed her right now. I'll feed Cece if she wants me to. Do you think Cece's hungry? <laughs> Cece, are you hungry? I don't always know what time it is, but I do know it's time to feed Cece. I can feel it. We're just normal people having a good time. Sometimes, sometimes we're trying to have a good time and mama don't like the music. She don't like this song. But we just have a good time anyway. It's not always about mama. It's about us. It's about time. Welcome back, little boy. I'm ready 
in an interview with the Tibrock brothers that they were in no way attempting to mock obesity, as they themselves are rather robust individuals. Oh. Yo, I love fat people. Oh, yeah. The directors were merely exploring the dark side of addiction and how sometimes we inadvertently harm the ones we love the most. As for me, I purposefully harm the ones I love the most. Sack! On with the film! As far as, uh, I don't know, all of these different flu and colds and stomach Oh, I see, see, let's get, get this thing over with. Well, I'd love to feed. I mean, feeding's my thing, but it's not all it's cracked up to be. There's a lot of bad stuff I gotta do to make, to make it work. Like, I gotta powder her behind. Working with a bone, and this is, sometimes CC gets bone sores, blisters, bed sores. I, she get them all. She gets them, but I don't powder her without asking her first. Doctor says butt roll is real. Doctor says butt rod is real. I've seen it once. I don't want to see it again. If I don't stop feeding her, she could die. But if I stop feeding her, I could die. It's a catch-20. Come on in here and come listen to this! Where did you put it, CC? Oh, I smell it. Oh, I smell it. Will you hide it, CC? Give me, baby. Give me, baby. Oh, I found it. But there's no more stimulus. You're a sneaky. Share a bed. See, 60% it's a marital bed. Cece I mean, so doesn't like to wake up too Apple. early, does she? No! No! So guess what? You gotta have a strong dollar to get revenue. A dollar a week, they're not getting paid. He's in here! So why are you lying? You want some prayers with him? Today as he tries to recover and hopefully it's a good recovery. But a lot of stuff going on as far as a dollar weekends. You can't have a rally continue. See, 60% of Apple and Tesla, I mean Tesla, Apple tech stocks. 60% of their income comes from overseas revenue. Well, guess what revenue? You gotta have a strong dollar to get revenue. Dollars a week, they're good revenue. So why are you buying it? But guess what? You gotta have a strong dollar to get revenue. Dollars a week, they're not getting good revenue. I don't know what to do. What do I do, Jesus? Keep feeding. What? Keep feeding. The dumbest man in America is back. Don Lemon diving head first, offering up his. You know, I want Scott John Cena's autograph. I bought it at a flea market on a poster. But it turns out it was a fake. Presidential candidate Nikki Haley pushing this idea. In the America I see, the permanent politician will finally retire. And mandatory mental competency tests for politicians over 75 years old. Don, step. Oh! 
Do you or a loved one suffer from weight management disorder or WMD? Visit www.hotelweightwellnesscenter.com to see if you're eligible for treatment at the Hotel Weight Wellness Center in Kellyville, Florida or call 858-230-5559 to schedule a free consultation. Don't wait. Call today. 858-230-5559. Stepping on a landmine while responding to that. So you want some snakes? Don't you give a you want to play hide the snake? Perception. We are weaker than Japan in your our economy. Yeah. So we have a weak dollar because of it. So why are you buying a weak dollar stock? Yeah. Cost of transportation. Ask any tech company. Oh, and oh, 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 on the bed. We're getting, uh, we're gonna have a good time on this uh, road trip, TT. Gotta be careful. I said, "Hey, stepping on the bench." Of the NHL from Sunrise. Yeah, it's not too far. And then yeah, I think that our taxes will reimburse, reimburse us for the mileage. What is that one? What is that one? What is that one? You hate this hat, don't you? I like this pack. I'm packing! We're gonna leave tomorrow! Hey, get here! Okay, don't let us jump on the bed. Oh, yeah. Get in here! Come give me a BC powder! You know we gotta go. We gotta get you better, girl. Here's your treat. Get in there and get it. She don't like to get in that thing. I don't know why. I like to get in that thing. I get in the cup. Ah! Don't you hurt your back again. Come on, TT, get in that thing. Yep. I'm sorry. I gotta do it. Don't bite me. Get in there. <laughs> Boy, the car, Cece talks so much. She's so loud, I can't even hear myself think. So I just don't. Cece just talks too much. And Joey, he sleeps a lot, which is nice because of his knockoff Pepsi. But when he uh when he sleeps it's good, but when he when he wakes up, good god, look out.
Look at he coming alive. <laughs> Sometimes, why I like to drive is that the world is a big place. And it's kind of like, I feel like I'm in an aquarium and everybody is outside the car is out at the aquarium and I'm a fish. And you know, they say that you can overfeed a fish, but I don't think that's true at all. We don't leave Cortez County too much, and Mama never leaves the house. But sometimes when I drive, Cece complains because it's too hot, and I turn the AC on her, and then she complains that it's too cold. She talks so much. Why she talks so much? Cece talks so much in Waffle Mouth. That, you know, uh, I don't like people who lie, because Joey lies about washing his hands. He, Mama makes him wash his hands, and I, he says he does, but I know he don't. I know because he put his hand in my mouth and it tastes bad. It tastes so bad. God, it tastes so bad. Hello, good afternoon, Mr. Facemeyer. I've reviewed Cece's case, and I'm afraid I have some rather startling news. There is no reason Cece should be alive right now, okay? She is more like a chemical toilet than a dog. Her heart's compressed so tight it vibrates every time it beats, okay? Her rectum is so deeply compacted, she cannot afford to poop normally. It must seep out or else she will burst. I see you've been applying the powder to the orifice, okay? That is good, okay? But not a forever job. Her immune system is beyond compromise. Her joints are nearing the composition of dust. We did the ultrasound. Her lungs are filled with cream filling and chicken fat. It is amazing she can breathe at all, okay? She is 350 pounds, okay? She must lose at least 300 pounds to be considered for skin surgery. That means no junk food, ever. It must be one cup of dried dog food per day. I don't know who will suffer more, you or Cece, but if change is not made, she will die, okay? We'll get better, baby. We'll get better, baby. I will see you back in my office in one month, okay? Super. Good luck. It must be one cup of dried dog food per day. If I don't stop feeding her, she could die. But if I stop feeding her, I could die. Die. I hate that doctor. This is stupid. Science has been wrong before. Science is supposed to work for us, not the other way. Not everybody got so much money to waste. God, I can't feed her? What am I going to feed? Joey don't eat nothing. He go out in the house to eat. He eat out a lot. That doctor thinks he going to tell me what to do. Well, he going to go around and find out, bitch. F*** around find out, bitch. Good God, what a mess. <laughs> Huh? Huh? He's in here! 
How much do you think we can get for this? This operation is not going to be cheap, but we have to do it for CC. They ain't got much to sell in this house. They still like BB babies. This one's endangered. I think it's got. I think it's got some value. How much do you think we can get for that? What? Every day I wake up, it hurts. It just hurts me until I feed CC. Hi, CC. Here's a chance to eat. Here's CC. Yeah. All right, she got hers, so you can have yours. This whole situation got me so sad with Cece because I can't feed her and if I can't feed her, I don't know myself. How can I be myself if I can't feed herself? Feeding is an act of life. Life is like a car, you feed it gas and oil. Feed that woman oily dog food. One time I fell on my butt bone and it was because I have fading spells on account of my having to feed myself. You know, I don't feed myself much. It's like a carpenter whose home is falling apart. They just don't want to bring work home. So I don't feed myself, I feed everyone else. I'll feed you. conquers all and that we will make it if we have each other but we got love and we got food we got it all maybe I should learn to feed myself because yourself can't be there for herself if yourself doesn't take care of itself self-care is the most important meal of the day I just went with my I just go where my mind goes you know because they say that if you kill the head the body will follow and my, I, lead with, I lead with my eyes and I smell with my mouth as I move through the world. I feed what I see and I feed what I feed. And they tell me I can't feed. Well, I tell you what, Buster. You ain't gonna come around my house no more. Was there actually really Mama's house? No, I don't know whose house it is. I don't know how much more seats you can take. I guess we'll find out.
I miss Cece so much. How could I ever love again? How could I even feed again? Who's going to eat all them M's and M's? Who's going to eat all my food? I got a lot. I got a, I got an empty heart but a full fridge. There's nothing more hungry than sadness. My hands are tied up. Jerry, what's that? She looks hungry. What is her name? Her name's Dee Dee. Dee Dee? Dee Dee. <laughs> Dee Dee comes out to Cece in the alphabet. Dee Dee. Dee Dee! There's nothing more hungry than sadness. scene with the breasts. Whoa. The chicken breasts. That's the breast scene in the whole picture. Also the scene with the tits. Wow. Why this particular film almost broke my heart. I love this film so much, I bought the exact same vehicle that Charlie Facemeyer drives as seen in the movie. How about you, Gobby? How do you like the movie? I like it. Kill my breath. Happy holidays to you all. And may you all be filled with good titties. <laughs> yes, please. Happy. Christmas, Gumby. Without you, my life would be pure torture of the least satisfying kind. Without you, I'd be damned to an eternity of solitude. Give us a hug. I love you, Daddy. I love you, too. Ow! Happy holidays to you all, and to all a good fright. And we're out. Whew. Great job, Gumby. See you next year. Take it easy. Whew.